Hello guys. Today I'm going to be showing you how to work with uh, with maps on Kivi. So we have this module here, which is called Kivi Garden Map View. So you have to just uh, install it, then import it, and we can work with it. So for this layout, you can check out my previous videos about the screen manager. It is pretty simple. So the basic idea is how to how to draw this kind of route. This is a route, and we're gonna be tracking this route, all right, and updating and updating this route to our map view. Okay, so you can see that we have a pin, we have a picture, we have to, things like that, okay? So it is pretty simple. So we can start just by saying, uh, by defining our map view into our screen. So map, map view. And we have to give it a size. So root dot height. I'll do it. Sorry. And uh, root dot height. Okay. So we defined our map view and we give it a root and a width. Okay. So let's just start our application and see. So this is our map. We can zoom in. All right. So you can see there isn't there isn't much so the map uh, the map has a size of our of our window we can zoom in zoom out that's all so for this we're going to be handling this map view here in our f screen with a uh, with python so for this we have to give it an id of course so id let's call it main map main map okay and uh Let's come here. Now our map, which is self IDs dot main map. You know it takes uh it takes zoom for starter. Okay, so um, zoom is a is an integer number, I guess. Uh, it can be from uh, maybe from five to twenty or maybe more from five to yeah to twenty or fifteen. Let's give it fifteen. Okay, and let's see. Okay, we are zoomed. We are somewhere in the sea, I guess. Okay, yeah, we are here. So, um, let's say, let's give it a, we want this map. We want this map. When we open it, when we open our app, we want it to be centered. Centered. Let's say centered somewhere. Okay. And this somewhere is my current position, which I, uh, because we're not working on Android or uh, or iOS, so we have to uh, have to enter it manually. So self dot ids dot main underscore map. So there is something which is called center center on. Okay, and it is a function, and this functions and uh, this function take takes a lot and a, and a long latitude and longitude so for this I uh, I grab my latitude and longitude and just paste it here okay so let's see if it works I don't know if it works yes it does okay so this is my current position okay you can see that it is in Algeria so there isn't much to to it what else we can do so in here we have a we have some sort of a pin okay mm, we have a pin so we have to define our pin here let's say mm, simply self maybe self dot pin okay and this pin is a marker pop-up it is an object that belongs to the map view so we can add the marker pop-up to the map view okay so first let's define our mark our marker pop-up and add it to the map view so marker pop-up is is this way marker pop up it takes a lot and it takes uh, it takes a uh, long or longitude and it takes it takes source I guess yes source and uh, okay let's say our marker pop -up is a uh, is our current is our current location so this is the latitude and this is the longitude okay guys and for the source we have this uh, me32. It is a black dot, a small black dot. You can see it by here. I cannot zoom it. I'm in sublime. So 
we're gonna add this to our map view so you can see source here you're gonna just say me uh, 32 it is a 32 by 32 dot png that's all let's see if it works okay we didn't add it to the to the map view so we have to do this so self dot ids dot main map dot added widget and this widget is uh, is our self dot pin which is the marker pop up okay let's see if it works okay you can see that this is in our uh, is appearing in our map view and we are centering this on the same location as our marker pop up our pin where we are right now okay and uh, let's see what we can do more okay so and uh, to be honest with you uh, there's something about this okay so now this marker pop up this marker pop-up can accept another widget, which could be a button. That's all. A marker pop-up can accept a button. You can find it in the doc. So self dot. Let's let's see self dot btn for button equals to button. Okay, and a button accepts text. Mm, let's get rid of text. Okay, so let's give it a size. Size is uh, let's say self dot width of 0.2 and self dot height of 0. Point, of 0. Point, uh, maybe uh, 0. 0.5 okay and the position I think it's uh, related maybe it doesn't accept size ah okay 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 so we have to find this way I have something here. Maybe it's gonna work this way. It doesn't need too much. Self dot size equals to yeah. I'm sorry guys. Okay. What button is not defined? Okay, so we have to import we have to import a button. Let's just check something and try to import it from there. Uh, okay, so let's do let's do this. And see if it works okay let me click on it and see if it works so we have to give it a position we give it a size so let's give it a position okay so for plus no, no, here. in here we come here and do this plus let's say uh self dot yeah uh, we're gonna say we're gonna say this is pretty complicated for you I, I guess so the position is the is self dot uh, pin dot pos dot zero okay and let's say self dot pin dot pos position dot one let's see if it works okay we didn't add this widget so we have to add it to the marker uh, to the we have to add this button to the self pin so we're going to do this self dot pin and then dot added widget and we're going to add it self dot btn okay and let's see if it works i hope so okay so you can see that it is working so and what we can do is add an on press here okay so on press on press on press is a uh, let's say on press is a uh, self dot self dot show okay that's all self dot show and in here we have to define a, a function which is called def what have i done def function okay 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 so def dot show it takes self and in here what we're gonna do is gonna we're gonna print uh, we're gonna print let's say we're gonna print uh, self dot pin let's give let's just say click okay 
So we're going to print clicked. That's all. Okay. Show takes. Okay, it takes instance because we have created it in Python file, not in KB. So instance. Okay. Ins. Okay, let's run it. You can see that this button is printing exactly what we want. Okay, what if we wanted to print? What if we wanted to print the marker pop up latitude and the marker pop up longitude? So all we're gonna do is gonna do this self dot. Okay, or just print self dot pin dot lat and. Uh, Oh, let's convert it to be uh, to be uh, to be more uh, sure. Okay, so self dot pin dot light. Okay, come on. And uh, str dot self dot pin dot long. Okay, have to close this and see if it works. Okay. Let's just separate them by this. Okay. When we click on it, we have this. Okay. You can see that we are printing the, the position of this pin, of this pin by this button. Okay. And this button belongs to this pin. So when we click on it, it appears. When we click on it, it disappears. Okay. That's uh, pretty simple. So. Let's give, uh, let's give, uh, let's give, uh, let's do something, let's do something more. Let's do something more. Let's say, uh, let's say, let's say, come here and say, back ground color. I don't know if it works or not, to be honest with you. Okay. So I'm going to try it. Let's say, oh, 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 okay. Let's run it. Let's see if it works. Okay. Yeah, it does. So we have nothing. Uh, mm, I think that's all. Uh, for uh, this has no purpose. So the next video, I'm going to show you how to uh, how to give our pin how to give our pin a rounded button like this. Okay. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. You can you can find the uh, you can find the source code below. That's all, guys. Uh, please subscribe to my channel.